All right, we're back. Home Track Heroes here on CW11 from Evergreen Speedway. Coming up, our Frank's Radio Service Outlaw Figure 8 main event, 25 laps. And we want to remind you this is sponsored by the BECU, the Boeing Employee Credit Union. They believe in people over profit. BECU, altogether different. Tom, give us a lineup. You bet. Starting on the pole in the 71, Carl B. Nick Holton. Outside of Nick in the 51, it's Ryan Clark. In row two, John the Cowboy Carlson in the 50 car. Outside of him will be the 33G of Nick Gunderson. Nick sponsored by MGM Designs. In row three, it's the 55 car of Doug Wilkinson, who won last week's main event for this class. Outside of him, Ricky the Kid Dietz in the 676. Back in row four, it's the zero car of Jillian Lopato. Outside of Jillian in the 74 is Chris uh, Curtis. He's uh, in the Boney Motorsports ride. And in the final row, it's the 11 car of Keith Cook. And outside of Keith in the 48 car, it's Jay Van Busker. And really good to see the 676 of Ricky Dietz, one of the longtime campaigners, the Dietz family, another one of those names. We bring this up every week here on Home Track Heroes. Uh, generations keep coming back to this place. And Ricky the Kid Dietz, a several time champion in the Outlaw Figure Eight division. So good to see that beautiful number 676 car back out here. But plus, he's just flat fun to watch. Yo, he because sure is. That cat's not going to lift. <laughs> Comes from good figure eight stock. Yes, he does. And knows exactly what he's going to do. Yes, he does. All right, here we go. There's the 51 of Ryan Clark. Off to an early lead there, just coming out of turn number two, down into turn number three. As they run from the north to the south, Ryan Clark will have lap number one lead and there goes the 33 of Gunderson working the outside here they come into turn number two again Gunderson will take that lead over from Ryan Clark with Nick Holton in the 71 the 676 of Ricky the Kid Deets the 50 of Cowboy John Carlson and the reason you see Chris Curtis with the purple that's because he was the fastest car on that lap so here we go Nick Gunderson back out by a car link over Ricky Deets Gunderson sponsored uh, by Air Pros Energy and SCI. That car is a beautiful, oh, beautiful it figure. Really eight car. Is. You won't find one any nicer. Go to California, go to Indiana, where it's kind of the home of figure eight racing. That, that car holds its own with any of them. Yeah, it does. Look at that single file, the top three Gunderson, Dietz, and Curtis. Good to see, like I mentioned earlier, Chris Curtis back out here after a couple of race layoffs. Doug Wilkinson in the 55. And the uh, number 50 of the Cowboy, John Carlson. I believe after this race, Cowboy loaded up and headed east. And he was going to go racing, I think, in Indiana. Uh, that, that, you know, that's where I, kind of the home of figure eight yes, racing yes. is. Um, you know, we had the 60 minutes of fear, which got stretched to longer and longer. That event was actually taken from an event that they do at the Speedrome in Indianapolis, but they do it for four hours. <laughs> you can imagine four hours. And you know, figure eight racing is the one, you know, in, in circle track racing, you want them bunched up, you want them tight, but in figure eight racing, you want them to spread out because that means there's gonna be a little bit more activity at the intersection. So let's see what happens as they cut through right there. All right, look at that battle with Chris Curtis up on the outside of Nick Gunderson, man. While we were talking about that, Ricky the Kid Deets just sprinted to the lead and he is out front now by about five to six car lengths. Over the 74 of Chris Curtis, there's a good shot of Nick Gunderson's number 33 car with Doug Wilkinson right behind him. The Cowboy in spot number five, and Nick Holton running good. Nice ground shot there. As see kind of what uh, the infield officials right across from where we were looking at is our friend Steve Dunn, who's been officiating out here for a long, long time. So we thank him for working that south turn. John Peterson, as you mentioned, flagging up in the north turn. Coming out at turn number two right now, a good battle between Wilkinson and Gunderson as Wilkinson tucks back in behind the 33G of Gunderson. A good battle for that third spot. And back up front, Ricky Deets is uh, really doing a nice job as he's gotten around. I believe that's Jillian Lopato in the zero car. I thought I had seen her pull in, but she must have gotten things back underway. And, uh, Good to see her back out there. The 2051 car, I believe that was, might have been Ryan Clark, uh, had to pull over and let a couple cars by. But it's good to see these, these cars with the regular car bodies on them out here competing. Um, There's obviously a massive horsepower difference. You'll see these uh, guys like Gunderson, Carlson, and Deeds go right by them. But it's so cool to see them out here. And, and 
filling up the field. That's You're right. cool. Steve, uh, John Carlson buried back there in fifth. That's not where he, you know, normally runs. He is the points leader in this class with 183 points. Running second in the points chase is Nick Gunderson at 175. Chris Curtis is in the third spot at 169. He would probably be the point leader, but he took a week off, and I'm not sure if that was a uh, officials who gave him the night off, or he just took the night off after having a little bit of an incident with, I think, Mr. Wilkinson here Wait a few camp. weeks back. And running in fourth in points for the season is Jill, uh, Nick Holton in the with 137, and Jillian Lopato rounds out the top five with 126. So still some positions can be gained or lost yes. before the end of the 2020 season. As we see the 50 of Carlson get around the 51 of Ryan Clark, Ricky the Kid Deep still leading in that. But man, look at the battle shaping up here between Dietz and uh, Chris Curtis as they make it through the intersection, heading off into turn number three. I thought that Ricky was going to start to walk away with this, but boy, the top two really have Nick Gunderson. And, and it's kind of odd to see Gunderson struggle somewhat. I mean, he's picked up a couple of wins, but man, normally in years past that cat would just check out on these things. And, and uh, you know, it's, it's uh, he'll get it figured out. Those guys are too good not to. Yeah. They'll, they'll figure out what's up with that 33 car. You know, you can imagine the position that Chris Curtis is in. He's watching every move that Ricky the Kid Deets makes, looking for a spot to get by. But he has to remember he's got to come through that intersection twice right. every lap. And the one lap that he forgets and concentrates more on the leader than what could happen, Boom. he's going to get. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That's the best way to describe it. And boy, I tell you, Ricky is one of those drivers that, you know, he's not going to show you everything, but he, he's got a lot of, of tricks in the playbook, as they say, as we're working lap 18 out of 25 for our Frank's radio service. A little Alpha bit of activity right there at the intersection. It's getting a little busy, so. Yeah. And you can see that battle still rages on between Dietz and Curtis. And whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if Curtis would have lifted just a little, yep. he'd be going around right yeah. now. In a blink of an eye, it can happen that fast. There's a great shot. Look at that, folks. Man, you don't think that that doesn't require some guts. As uh, Dietz now out by about three car lengths over the 74 Boney Brothers entry of Chris Curtis in the Liberty car and look at that distance between second and third. Holy cow. Doug Wilkinson in that uh, number 55 car currently in the third spot followed by Nick Gunderson, the Cowboy John Carlson and Nick Holton. <coughs> He's been really impressive, I think, in this division this year. I think we may hear a lot more out of that young man in years to come if he chooses to stick with it. You're, no, you're exactly right. Kurt is sponsored by Thermotech Powder Coating. They help get that car out there. That is a very, very nice looking piece also. As they head down through the intersection, into the left-hander, they come around there, and the flagman is tucked, you just saw it briefly. <laughs> they gotta get a quick look at him to make sure that everything is going just the way that they want it to, and he'll take care of business for them. All right, we're coming up on two laps to go. It'll be lap 23 when they come across the start line. You can see it right there. And it's still Rick Dietz, followed by Chris Curtis and Doug Wilkinson make up your top three as we uh, also want to throw a shout out. Nick Gunderson also brought to you, and I think Tom may have mentioned by Air Pros Energy and SCI. Nick Holton brought to you by Conley Family Roadside and Fishing with Bros. Well, we've got to find out about that one. <laughs> Love to figure out what these sponsors are about. But if you uh, want to let us know who's on the side of your car, give us a call at the Speedway office, man. It, this is sponsorship is what makes us go around. Final lap, the white flag is in the air, Rick Dietz. Your leader, you can see him just in between turn three and four right now, coming across the line. Another checkered flag for the kid. And boy, I tell you, if anybody knows how to put on a show after a uh, <laughs> win, Rick Deep certainly does know how to uh, put some smoke in the air from the tires on these big great cars. So good job. They'll come up to our Angel of the Winds winners platform. We'll go introduce Kyler Hope. We'll be down talking to him here in just a few seconds. We'll take you down to Angel of the Winds platform. Third place tonight in the Outlaw Figure Eights, and it was one of the bigger fields you've seen all year, and it went green to checkered. How surprised were you by that? Um, I was quite happy with it, actually. The, the more the merrier. Hopefully we can get more cars out. Um, I got to put a big shout out to Rep and Welding and Rail. They uh, helped us out this weekend. Um, Tony V's uh, in Everett. Uh, Matt Vey Foundation Repair. Um, my wife, Bubba, and my mom. Doug Wilkinson comes home with third place tonight.
Chris Curtis, second place tonight, and you and Ricky kind of checked out from the rest of the field. And how much fun was it battling between in and out of traffic and shooting the exit quite a few times? Yeah, it was uh, it was a lot of fun tonight. There was a good car count out tonight, and uh, happy to be back. I took the last race off, you know, uh, gathering some thoughts and just easing up and wanting to have some fun. And uh, you know, came out today. We had a good car today. Uh, Ricky had a good car today. Doug had a good car today. You know, it was a pretty good day for us. Who do you need to thank for getting the 74 to third or second place tonight? Uh, I need to thank uh, Bulldog Haven Northwest, Thermal Tech, Powder Coating, Bud Barton's Glass, uh, my wife. <laughs> that's a big one, that's a big one. <laughs> you know, and I gotta uh, give this one to my dad. He's home with some medical problems right now, so uh, sit for him. An emotional second place for Chris Curtis. All right, down here in Angel of the Winds, Victory Lane, Ricky Dietz, you and Chris Curtis checked out from the rest of the field and put on quite a show. Walk me through that race. Well, well, a new set of tires helped out. I got to thank uh, Wellness Solutions uh, and two girls uh, and a leaf uh, for buying the tires. And oh, as, as well as Shauna Martin, she bought me uh, two tires too. And uh, I put a brand new motor in because, you know, I blew mine up and I bought a... Uh, I bought one of Chad Patrick's motors that he was running last time. It was all cheated up. He didn't want to get caught, so I bought it from him. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not really. But uh, I did buy a motor from them, and it's, it's a really good motor. It's actually more than uh, than we need for this small tire here. And they gave me some restrictor plates. I'm probably going to use them because I was using up my tires today. Uh, Chris is always a fierce competitor. He's fast. Uh, I've seen him in my mirror, uh, and I just, well, just got to hold my line, you know, and he's going to have to knock me out of his way. And I didn't think he would do that to me because that's pretty poor sportsmanship, you know. I'm just, I'm just glad to be here, you know. Uh, I got to thank Hobbs uh, and, and his family for putting this, this on still during this horrible time. Because uh, if I don't have the sandbox playing, I, I get in trouble a lot. And uh, Randy, I got to thank you too. You know, uh, thanks for uh, the GoPro stuff and, and all you do for all the racers here. It's, 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 it's great. And uh, I hope to put on another show for you in a couple weeks. Ricky Deeds comes home first place.